People living in a low-income apartment community in Denver are sending out a plea for help. All are older residents at high risk for coronavirus. Kavod's senior life is far from lively these days. They've suspended all activities, closed the dining rooms. The only visitors are caregivers. All deliveries stop at the entrance. We are probably all have health issues. We need to keep our distance and try to stay home. When the coronavirus pandemic hit Colorado in February and March, and Governor Polis issued his first executive orders, we quickly moved to change the way we work to keep our residents safe. We just do not want to see them get the virus. Michael Klein is president and CEO of the nonprofit that runs the housing services. We did this with your support. The toilet paper, the hand sanitizers, the soap, the non-perishable foods. We delivered thousands of meals and activity kits so residents don't miss a meal and stay engaged. Installed visitation booths so residents can safely visit with their family and friends. Held contactless concerts to brighten their spirits. Continued construction projects to update the east, west, and south buildings and build a bistro in the dining room. Hosted monthly Kavod on the Road programs to help with the social and mental well-being of older adults living in the greater Denver area outside of Kavod's walls. And open CU Geriatric Medicine in the Harry and Jeanette Weinberg Health and Wellness Center, a longtime goal for Kavod, where residents can see primary care doctors at their apartment building. We did this while keeping residents at Kavod healthy with zero confirmed cases. We are going through some tough times for sure. Uh, the reason I come in every day is for our residents. All of us are extending way beyond our usual uh, jobs in order to make sure we're keeping everybody as safe as possible. I love my resident. I love to come to work every day. I'm a QMAP and a caregiver. That's why I come every day. It gave me the strength to come because I love to come and help my residents. We're all a big family here and we um, take care of each other. Everybody has problems. Every country has problems. But we surmount them every time. And we, we will again. Just we have to unite and we have to, to just say this is just another bad day. Tomorrow will be all better, the sun will shine again, and everybody will be very happy and love each other, as we should. Though the challenges of the coronavirus pandemic are still ahead of us, we will meet them with a resilient commitment to keep our residents safe, adhering to top health and safety protocols, and knowing that we have your care and concern. Kavod has done an amazing job of weathering the pandemic storm. As chairman of the board, I am so proud of the work that has been done and the support that has come from the board, the staff, the residents, the community, and our donors to keep everyone safe. But the storm is not over. We have to continue to keep our guard up. As such, we need to ask for you to continue to support the road in the weeks and the months ahead. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you what you will continue to do, and thank you for all the support you will provide in the future. And above all, please be safe. Thank you for your continued support. We can't do this without you.